Chapter 40, To Whom Should Be Respectful and Courteous? Sometimes, there was a Brahmin named Arrogant who lived in the Acropolis, and he did not respect his parents, his teachers, and his brothers. At that time, the Buddha was speaking for the masses, and the arrogant Brahmin thought to himself, the monk Gautama, Buddha, is speaking for the masses, so let's go and make a splash and see what he looks like. If the monk Gautama speaks to me, I speak to him, and if he ignores me and does not talk to me, I also ignore him and does not speak to him. After thinking about it, this arrogant Brahmin came to the Buddha's residence, and he saw that the Buddha was surrounded by the crowd listening to the teachings and could not enter the Buddha, so he stood silently outside the crowd. At that time, the Buddha was answering questions for the masses and did not speak to the arrogant Brahmins. The arrogant Brahmin thought in his heart, this monk Gautama is such a big frame, since he did not come to meet me when I came, I am a well-known priestly scholar in the Acropolis, and the clothes I wear are so noble and gorgeous, it is impossible for him not to see it, this monk Gautama does not even understand the most basic etiquette, he should be a foolish and ignorant person, I better go back, don't waste my precious time. After thinking about it, the arrogant Brahmin was ready to turn and leave. At that time, the Buddha already knew what was in the mind of the arrogant Brahmin, and the Buddha said to the arrogant Brahmin who was about to leave, Brahmin, please stay, arrogance and no one in your eyes are not very good for a seeker, Brahmin, since you are here, you should be good at using this opportunity to dispel the doubts in your heart, instead of turning away without saying a word, arrogantly and rudely. If you leave, you will lose the opportunity to open up wisdom, you will lose the opportunity to obtain the correct practice method, and if you did not speak to you just now, it is because Rulai is answering the public's questions. At this time, the Buddha said, Brahmins do not slow down if they come for this. Whoever comes from Brahmins is good at his use. When the arrogant Brahmin heard what the Buddha said to himself, he was very surprised, and he thought to himself, Monk Gautama, he doesn't know me, how does he know what is going on in my heart? The arrogant Brahmin then walked to the Buddha's side, and immediately lay down on the ground, touching the Buddha's feet with his head and kissing the Buddha's feet with his mouth to show his supreme reverence for the Buddha. He then pointed his finger at himself and reported his name to the Buddha, Dade, I am an arrogant Brahmin. Dade, I am an arrogant Brahmin. At that time, the people who listened to the teachings around the Buddha said in unison, it's incredible, this arrogant Brahmin, he doesn't respect his parents, he doesn't respect his teachers, he doesn't respect his brothers, but he is here today to perform the five-body salute to the world, you know that this ritual is the supreme and most revered etiquette, I really can't imagine that this arrogant Brahman has changed so quickly. At this time, the Buddha said to the arrogant Brahman, Brahman, you can get up, sit down next to Rolai, you have now eliminated the arrogance and troubles in your heart, and you have developed pure faith in your heart. After sitting down, the arrogant Brahman said to the Buddha, Venerable, who should be respectful and courteous? Who should be respected? Who should be revered? To whom should a reverent offering be made? At this time, the arrogant Brahman said, To whom should be respected, to whom should be honored? To whom should be honored and given good? The Buddha said to the arrogant Brahmins, Be respectful and courteous to your parents, brothers, and teachers. They should be honored, they should be revered, and they should be provided for with devotion and respect. We should be respectful and courteous to the monks and practitioners who have taken the vows, we should be respectful and courteous to the monks and practitioners who have attained the fruit of liberation, we should be sincere and respectful to these monks and practitioners who have attained the fruit of liberation, we should be sincere and respectful to these monks and practitioners who have attained the fruit of liberation. We should be respectful and courteous to those who cut off evil and cultivate goodness, are willing to give good, and do more good deeds. Do not develop arrogance in your heart. Do not despise all people and beings in the world. All arrogance and contempt should be eliminated and abandoned. In this way, we will not be bound and bound by the arrogance and the troubles and pains of no one in sight, so that we will be freed from the troubles and pains of pride and arrogance and no one in sight. At this time, the Buddha said, To mother and father, even older brothers. Mentors should be humble. Such persons shall be honored and honored by such persons. To provide for such people is to provide for good. Those who take vows and walk righteously, those who are pure and liberated. To all good people, pay supreme respect. Arrogance and arrogance should be abandoned. After the Buddha had spoken, the arrogant Brahmin said to the Buddha, Venerable, what you said is so good, I will take your teachings to heart, and I will practice according to what you say. Please let me take refuge in you, 
I am willing to take the precepts you have set, I am willing to practice according to your Dhamma. I would like to be your home disciple for the rest of my life. Buddha accepted the conversion of the arrogant Brahmins.